As we've been reporting, the death of 22-year-old Gabby Petito is being investigated as a homicide. But it is a far lesser charge that has potentially given investigators a new tool in tracking laundry down. Eight on your side, senior investigator Walt Buteau with the details on how a pair of federal filings may impact this case. But again, Brian Laundry is still a person of interest in the homicide case. It is credit card fraud that has him in trouble and might give investigators those extra tools. The search of Carlton Reserve for six out of the last seven days makes it obvious Brian Laundry was a flight risk, but now it is spelled out in a federal document. Wyoming prosecutors filed a motion for a detention hearing stating the case involves a serious risk the defendant will flee and a serious risk of obstruction of justice. The federal indictment offers clues into Petito's final days. Do we love her? Her mother told police she heard from her daughter for the last time in an August 27th text message. And according to the FBI, Petito died sometime before the 30th. That's the day Laundrie allegedly began the unauthorized use of a debit card in a federal crime the agency said happened following the death of Petito. Our plan for today. The indictment alleges laundry illegally spent more than $1,000 from two accounts during a three day period that ended September 1st, the day Petito's van arrived back in Florida. A legal expert tells us the federal filings, even if they involve only credit card fraud, will turn up the heat on laundry. Now it's nationwide. The marshals are going to be looking for him. Local law enforcement officers are going to be looking for him. Absolutely. Whereas before it was just a local thing. Now he could be anywhere in the, in the, in the country, perhaps even in the world, and they can look for him uh, through that warrant. And laundry's alleged spending spree ended on the day Petito's white van returned to Florida. And I guess we know there's a total of a thousand dollars that he spent, but do we know if there's just a trail of expenses that led up to that? So that we sort of assume that, but the FBI, as you would guess, does not talk about things like that. We also tracked down a tip that laundry was seen in a Midwest gas station during that three day window, but the manager of the manager of that business said she could not comment at that point. Well, he's going to have a hard time hiding if he ever comes out of the Carlton Reserve, if in fact that is where he he's located. So, right? His right. picture is everywhere. Thank yeah, you all. Absolutely. Gabby